Now, we all know about the dating apps these days, but a Japanese billionaire who actually bought the seats on SpaceX's first trip around the moon for 2023, uh, Brad, he's looking for a woman to apply to be his girlfriend and go on this said trip and take <laughs> us through it. So he's known as a bit of an eccentric person, uh, as I think a lot of billionaires are these days. And now he was famous back in 2018. He bought essentially all of the first seats on the big Falcon rocket, now known as Starship, that will be SpaceX's sh ship rocket that will take people to the moon and Mars. Now SpaceX's first trip with this really will be a trip around the moon. Uh, and it can have seven seats. And this Japanese billionaire essentially co-invested and with the promise that he would be able to be one of those people and determine the other six people. Now when he bought the seats, he announced that it'd be for artists and creative people to be inspired by the, the, ver the visions and the journeys and the experiences and bring that back down to earth and build it into their work. Uh, but last week, uh, he announced that he's looking for a new girlfriend. And as part of this, uh, if you apply, yes, there is an application to be his girlfriend and you win, I guess it's a winning thing, uh, he will take you as on one of these seats around the moon. So maybe it's a compromise I don't really know at this point. No, I'm not sure, but he's obviously looking for that woman who is out of this world. So I, try, I tried Look, there, he, 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 he really is. It's a definitely a new version of The Bachelor, let's say it's, that. It brings a whole new meaning to The Bachelor. Brad, unfortunately, we have run out of time. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Take care.